All right, what's up, bro? So uh, this is the car. I just put the headers and stuff on last night. Let me try to, there we go. Um, Body-wise, um, it's a little, little dent right there. You see that? I think my daughter, um, this right here. I think my daughter linked the bike on it. If you pinch that in, you'd probably be good. But this is this is the part that kind of bothered me. If you can see it, it's it's kind of like wavy. It's not really even a dent or a ding, and it might be, it might be like some body filler. I don't know, but it's kind of wavy if you look at it. This bothers me the most right here. Um, ding right here. Most of them ain't major, but like that. That, that, this is kind of where those, the water is getting in for the, um, this the interior. I have the door panels. I'll, I'll bring those with me. They up there. Um, but interior. Uh, there goes the trunk. This is kind of like the surface rust I was talking about in the trunk. Small little hole right here. I was going to weld that up. Um, that's the back. I was going to paint all this. You know, ongoing project. So it is what it is. Um, this side, I think this side is pretty good. <clears throat> no rust, as you can see. No rust on either side. Um, I think this side is kind of pretty good. Yeah, that side's good. So, hood has a few dings on it. Let's see if we can see them. One right here. Ugh. Few. Uh, I painted this myself. So, like the hood has some, like right here, uh, right there. You can see it. Some drips. And this is a big thing that I forgot. No windshield wipers. Windshield has a slight crack. But I had, um, when I tucked everything, there go, fucking spider. <laughs> Let me try to get this on. But when I tucked everything, I couldn't get that plug out. So I had cut this, couldn't get the plug out the wipers. So I had cut this. Now, all these wires are on the inside. You could just splice them back together if you want. Um, I just got that hole taped up. So, you know, color to color pretty much. <clears throat> All that's on the inside. As far as the bay, uh, the bay is straight. I was having an issue with the fan, so I wired it up to the fuse box. It cuts on when you turn the key over. Cuts off when you cut, cut the key off. So it's just always on while the car is on. Um, but you don't, it's no switch or nothing. It's actually on a switch power right in the uh, fuse box. Um, I never figured that out. Um, catch can, tucked fuel, um, tuck fuel lines, JB Tune, Chase Bay's power steering delete right there. Um, you've seen all that on my Instagram. Uh, could use some better mounts. These were just some eBay mounts, so it kind of shakes a little bit like rocks but just some cheap ebay mounts um headlights that's one thing i forgot so I, the headlights work but i didn't hook up you know the the jdm joints have a different harness um so i didn't hook these up yet it has these harnesses right here i was going to buy an actual um i was going to buy actual pre-done harness from carlos zappian or whatever so I don't have to cut into into the existing one, but I never got to it. But the headlights work. Headlights work, but just the blinkers. The blinkers don't work in the front. In the back, they do. Um, that that plug goes there, and then you can either you can either cut these and hook it up to that, or you can get the uh, jumper harness. Um, I think that might be it. Um, I do have these things on the side somewhere but i had took them off to paint the car oh uh, 
I think that's it, man. Um, I think that's it. Runs perfectly fine. Um, it was, I did a brake tuck. It has the EG booster and, um, EG booster and this. It stops perfectly fine. I think I might need to bleed the brakes, but, um, it does, like, it seems like it takes a little bit more than usual. So I, I don't know if that's because it's an EG booster and stuff, or if I need to break the line, bleed the lines a little bit better. Stops perfectly fine, but if you like going fast and you slam on brakes, it kind of acts a little weird. Um, I think that's it, man. Oh, this key, it, this, somebody tried to steal it, so I got one key for it. The key opens the driver's side door and starts the car, but it doesn't open the trunk or this door, I don't think. I don't think it opens this door. Um... Here goes the battery. This is something that I was going to switch up that bothers me. I just got it sitting right there for now, hooked up. Um, and I had this whole setup right here that I was going to do. Battery case, new wires, crimper, and stuff like that. It's just some stuff I didn't get to yet. Um, Give me one second, please. trying to think of anything else everything works sunroof works windows work um everything works perfectly fine obviously no radio no radio fuse box is under here as far and the ecu um like you know no heat ac or power steering um i think that's everything man like I said, I had the door panels up there. Door panels. Uh, everything else is good. Um, this has like a... I thought this was kind of denty, but I don't know. I guess it's all right. Like right here, though. Like I was going to repaint this. I don't know. Just some stuff that I nitpick on. First time painting. But I should have sanded this down a little better. You can't even see it on the camera, but there you go. Like, you see kind of some of that stuff. Uh, but that's it, I think. That's the stuff that bothers me about the car so far left. Shifts perfectly fine. Drives perfectly fine. All the gauges work. Um, yeah, that's it, man. So just let me know. Uh, let me know. And I'll get back to you.